With the Omicron variant still spreading, there is a lot of confusion as to what we can do to protect ourselves. Many want to know, do booster shots last long enough or will we need to get even more? CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has some answers. There are some who are asking, how long does a booster shot immunity last? We know that antibody levels wane over time after any COVID vaccine. Although the data are still preliminary, it looks like booster shots provide good and lasting protection against severe disease with Omicron, which is different than protection against getting a low level infection with relatively mild symptoms. In other words, Omicron infections are less likely to lead to hospitalizations and deaths than Delta infections after a booster. But if booster immunity does turn out to weaken with time, will we need another booster, a fourth shot? Dr. Anthony Fauci says it's premature to be talking about a fourth shot, saying it may not provide significant additional immunity. And some scientists have warned that some immune cells might eventually stop responding to the vaccine if too many doses are given. In any case, both Pfizer and Moderna are developing an Omicron-specific vaccine, different from a booster, that could be ready in a couple of months. And finally, is there something other than the Omicron variant driving this huge spike in COVID cases? Every patient who walks in a hospital door gets tested for COVID, regardless of what brought them to the hospital. Turns out anywhere from one quarter to one half of those patients who end up testing positive had issues unrelated to COVID, yet their numbers contribute to the COVID spike. Still, all of those patients put a terrible strain on healthcare resources and staff. But public health experts say we won't get past the COVID pandemic until we address a stunning contradiction in our behavior. We see intolerably crowded hospitals literally right down the street from crowded bars and arenas, often filled with unvaccinated people. Experts tell us we cannot return to normal until we address the behaviors that are driving COVID infections. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And we have a list of COVID-19 resources available on our website. You can scan the QR code on your screen and it will take you right there. It includes information on vaccines, testing site locations, all at cbsnewyork.com.